for myself, I read everything aloud as I'm, as I'm writing, because the ear is a great editor. I think listening is the most important thing in the creative arts, but also in life. In a highly technological society, it seems to be that instruments are there to steal uh, bits of um, what we call information. But it is knowledge because it takes a dialogue. Um, and any interesting, complex dialogue comes out of silent listening. I'm listening for the music as opposed to the ideas. The ideas are there because language is really a composite of symbols, that which comes from the body as opposed to that abstract mental space. He or she comes to a page again and again. And it's not so much to perfect a voice, but to discover a voice. It comes at this moment when I think many people have lots of things to write about, and they don't. They have silenced themselves through a program experimentation to seem heady um, and in a way inauthentic. Only a few people are brave enough to even say what has informed their psyche. We have to ask those questions that make us laugh, that make us um, uh, squint into the darkness. The poem is an action. That's how, that, how I define poetry as confrontation and celebration. There's a kind of celebration through language um, where one surprises oneself and laugh out aloud in that moment of severe silence. So where did that come from? <laughs> what young poets should not do? One, to not write for others. Um, the second one is to not write on a computer. Um, the third one, To not be afraid of surprising oneself.